After a small recap of distribution testing, distribution types, and some basic terms in, in hypothesis testing of one population, we move on to the first big part of this course, which is two population testing. So now the idea is that it's not that we have one population and we test it versus some uh, hoped mean value or theoretical mean value. We actually have two samples and we would like to compare whether they have, for instance, same means, same variances, and so on. When we talk about two population testing, it's also important to mention population proportions because population proportion is a specific type of mean value. And finally, the required population size. So, for instance, if you have presumably infinite population from which you'd like to take a sample to have a reliable output or answer to some question, then you'd like to know what is the minimal population size you should consider in order to achieve, for instance, given confidence interval. So one of the most important statistical problems is making comparisons between two probability distributions. And that means usually the experimenter or the analyst has data from two populations. And then the questions that can come across when looking at the data from the two populations is, for instance, are the mean values of the populations equal? If they are equal, can we assume, for instance, that in overall their distribution is the same or may the distribution differ? It may be completely different distribution family or it can be same distribution family but with different variants in that distribution. So, for instance, during the comparison, can we actually assume that standard deviations of the populations are equal or not? And what would be the implications if we, for instance, make false assumption. So two population testing includes many different topics and we will go through them one by one.